Hello everyone, my name is Amar Bauman. I'm an assistant professor at the Mechanical Engineering Department at Kuwait University. I'm going to talk about my research, which is, which is about exergic economic analysis and optimization of a two-stage vapor injected system for residential cooling applications. This work has been conducted in collaboration with Purdue University. Uh, what motivates us to uh, conduct this research is due to the growing concerns about the global environment and energy consumption, uh, given that about 40% uh, of Kuwait's energy consumption is in buildings and 70% of this energy is consumed by air conditioning systems. With that being said, uh, we found out that uh, novel cycles such as vapor injected and economiz economization uh, can indeed uh, improve the overall performance because injecting cold refrigerant into the compressor shell uh, can reduce the heat generated during the compression process and therefore uh, reduce the power consumption. Uh, the additional economizer in such system can also help to further subcool the refrigerant uh, uh, entering the evaporator coils so that the system's cooling capacity can also be increased. Uh, this uh, technique is very uh, quite well known in the literature. Um, however, um, uh, it has not been evaluated uh, from thermoeconomic uh, perspective for high uh, ambient climates such as Kuwait. Uh, in addition, uh, the recent Kigali Amendment of Montreal uh, Protocol requires to gradually phase out uh, HFC refrigerants. Uh, therefore, uh, it motivates us uh, to investigate alternative uh, and natural refrigerant for high uh, temperature applications. So we investigated alternative uh, refrigerants uh, such as R32, R454A, R452B with natural refrigerants uh, such as propane R290 uh, to be compared with the current uh, commercialized R410A. Uh, the VI system here was optimized from thermoeconomic perspectives, uh, meaning we want to maximize the coefficient of performance of the system. At the same time, we want to reduce uh, the unit cost of cooling UCC. Uh, this was carried out uh, using one of the multi-objective genetic programming technique uh, called NSGA2. Uh, this uh, technique was selected because uh, uh, due to uh, its fast sorting and robustness uh, to get a series of optimal solution results. Uh, now uh, the final solution point was uh, selected based on the decision-making method called uh, TOPSIS, uh, uh, which allows uh, trade-offs between criteria where uh, poor results in one criteria can be negated by a good result in another criteria. Uh, here in the poster, uh, you can see the simulation results for all investigated refrigerant with respect to COP in blue color and uh, UCC in red color, uh, as well as uh, exergy uh, efficiency in green. Uh, exergy uh, efficiency represent uh, or it's an indication or indicator for maximum av available work with respect to ambient condition. Uh, despite the significant reduction in exergy efficiency with R454A uh, due to the large heat rejection in the condenser, uh, the system with R45A shows maximum COP due to the thermophysical properties of this refrigerant, uh, as well as the advantages of excess uh, subcooling using economizer. Uh, while R32 gives a minimum UCC due to the uh, relative uh, smaller heat exchanger area uh, needed for such a system. 
to summarize this poster, uh, this research presents uh, the first, uh, uh, first time as uh, assessment or, uh, of uh, thermoeconomic or exergeoeconomic analysis for uh, two-stage VI system for cooling application. Uh, the main results uh, shows that R32 had the minimum UCC of about 0 .6, uh, $65 dollar per kilowatt, while R454A uh, 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 had the maximum cooling COP of around 3.62 uh, among all the five investigated working uh, fluids. Uh, future work will be um, uh, experimentally uh, testing the optimal refrigerant uh, for Kuwait weather uh, condition. Uh, finally, I would like to thank uh, my colleague at uh, Herrick Lab at Purdue University for their uh, enormous uh, guidance. A special thanks to the research sector at Kuwait University for their continuous funding. Thank you.